come to a seated position shoulders rolling up back and down index and thumb touching sitting up tall long and deep breathing so if cross leg position doesn't work for you any seated position is fine just check that your knees are okay there's no pain in any major joints and you're able to tune in to your breath let's set an intention for the practice today maybe self acceptance in order to move and progress through the postures one needs self acceptance in the great scheme of things poses are not so important but in this moment when we are performing a sequence they feel really important avoid getting upset or self critical if you're not able to do certain poses instead learn to accept what you can and can't do for now and find pleasure in the small improvements each day keep your attention on your breathing avoid holding your breath or shortening it throughout the practice so take a few more long deep breaths here slowly open your eyes place your hands down walk your hands forward just the first forward fold of the day so go slow and easy doing whatever you can slowly coming up and we're going to take a side stretch inhale and exhale stretching over to the right side your top hand try to keep it beside the ear stretching the entire left side of the torso here switch sides as you exhale you can turn your head and look up towards the sky or the ceiling but if the neck doesn't feel too good feel free to just look down slowly back center take the palms behind just behind the hips arms are straight expand your chest look up if the neck is okay else just keep looking forward slowly back center and come to tabletop position for our cat and cows which is arching and rounding your spine check that your palms are right under your shoulders knees under your hips inhale and arch your back looking forward or up exhale round your back inhale arch to cow exhale round to cat the arms always remain straight inhale arch exhale round inhale arch hold for a bit exhale round inhale holding exhale so don't hold your breath just hold the pose inhale neutral spine raise the right leg up keep your hips square right knee into the right armpit inhale back knee to the opposite elbow inhale back exhale right knee to the right wrist inhale leg back right knee to the left wrist inhale leg back knee towards your forehead or chest stay here and lower the leg all the way taking it back and then lower the knee down repeat the same on the left left leg up and back exhale knee in towards the shoulder inhale all the way back knee towards the opposite shoulder elbow inhale back knee towards the same wrist inhale back twist opposite wrist inhale back knee into your chest hold round your back squeeze your belly in taking the leg all the way back and lower the knee down now placing your palms down coming into your downward facing dog or adho mukha svanasana you want to stretch your whole back body here it's perfectly okay to bend the legs a little bit but keep pushing your chest towards your legs press your palms down evenly keep your arms engaged stretch your shoulders 
and back of the legs. Feet about hip width apart here. Slowly bend your legs and walk your feet forward coming to Uttanasana or forward bend. Again here it's perfectly fine to keep the legs as bent as you need. Especially if you have lower back tension, pain, weakness. It's safe to just keep the legs bent. Slowly coming up all the way, raising your arms up and coming hands down, coming to Samastiti. Press your feet down evenly, sun salutation. The classic version, inhale arms up, exhale forward bend to Uttanasana. Inhale, we're going to lunge the right leg back. Dropping the knee down, continue the same inhale or take an extra inhale, raise your arms up, place your palms down either side of the leg and take the leg back to your Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale coming forward to plank, exhale you can drop your knees, arch your back, chest and chin down. If we can't do this, drop the whole body down, inhale coming to cobra with the arms bent or the arms will be straight, the thighs may come off to Udva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right foot all the way forward. Raise your arms up, Anjaneyasana. Palms down, exhale back foot forward to Uttanasana. The legs can be bent. Inhale, arms up all the way, Udva Vrikshasana. Exhale, left side now from Uttanasana. Inhale, lunge the left leg back, drop the knee down, raise your arms up. Exhale, hands down, taking the leg back to Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, coming to your Falakasana. Exhale, Ashtanga Namaskar or you're just dropping the body all the way down. Watch out for any neck tension or back tension. Inhale, Cobra, Bhujangasana, Udho Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, lunging the left foot forward, dropping your back knee down, raising your arms up, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, softening the legs and coming up all the way. Exhale, Samastiti. Sun salutation A, Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, jump back to Chaturanga or step back. Inhale, Udha Mukha Svanasana or Bhujangasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Stay here for five breaths. Now we're creating internal heat here using your Ujjayi breath if you know how to do it. Long and deep breaths. Ujjayi breath is also known as Goddess breath, Ocean breath. Some people call it the snake breath. Then inhale slowly, bending your legs, looking forward. Step or hop your legs forward to Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale Uttanasana. Inhale Udva Vrikshasana. Exhale Samastiti. Round 2, same thing. Surya Namaskar A. Seamlessly flowing through. So the hands here can even come on the knees when you're doing the Ardha Uttanasana. Hopping back or stepping back to Chaturanga. Inhale, Pujangasana or Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha. Staying for five breaths. Inhale, arms up, Udha Vrikshasana. Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale, Udha Vrikshasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Udva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha. Stay for a bit. Long and deep breathing. (laughs) 
ਇੱਕ ਪਾਦ ਆਦੋ ਮੁਕਸ਼ਵਾਨ ਆਸਨਾ ਰੇਸ ਰਾਈਟ ਲੈਗ ਅਪ ਇਟ ਡਸਨਟ ਨੈਸੈਸਰੀਲੀ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਥੈਟ ਹਾਈ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਮਚ ਲੋਅਰ ਜਸਟ ਲੁੱਕ ਫॉर ਦ ਸਟ੍ਰੈਚ ਐਟ ਦ ਬੈਕ ਆਫ ਦ ਬਾਟਮ ਲੈਗ and try to strengthen the top leg by kicking it up as high as possible exhale knee towards the right arm inhale leg back exhale twist if we can't do this in downward dog remember we could also do it in table top with the knee down the one we did in the beginning exhale knee to your right wrist inhale leg back exhale twist your opposite wrist inhale leg back it's important to keep your core in throughout exhale knee towards your chest or forehead inhale leg back knee once again towards your right arm stay for 3 2 one step the foot outside of the palm stay in your active lizard send your hips forward and down rock the hips forward and back notice the back leg is nice and active the heel is pushing back you're stretching forward through your sternum move side to side now a little bit and then stay in your active lizard your arms are fully active shoulders are rolling away from the ears hips lowering drop your back knee down now going into our resting lizard normal lizard only if it's very easy to bend our arms if the hips are open enough we lower the elbows down notice the elbows are right beside that front foot the right elbow is beside the right foot otherwise just always stay on your palms that's fine as well the alignment is more important not just going as low as you can or want to now coming back to your palms and stretching that front foot a little bit forward it's okay if the leg doesn't straighten out all the way that's very normal okay especially if the front leg is a little tight you can keep it like this bent as well if you are able to you slowly wiggle wiggle forward always notice how the back of the knee feels here if we can we go all the way long and deep breathing wherever you are slowly pressing into your palms lifting your hips up bringing that front leg back to your lizard tuck your back toes raising your back knee off lowering your elbows down if you can and swinging that right leg back to your forearm plank if you can't do this just stay on your palms go back to your plank take the leg back to plank and then lower the forearms down we're going to stay in forearm plank here for a bit drawing the belly in and pushing your hips up and back your shoulders up all the way and your chest pushing towards your thighs you're keeping your shoulders super active here only if we have space there to walk the feet forward we do that but notice the upper body it's pushing back towards the thighs don't let your back round when you walk your feet forward now raise the right leg as high as possible it may not go as high that's fine just do your best feel a nice stretch in the bottom leg and strengthening in the top leg you can rock forwards and back a little bit coming into the balls of the bottom foot and then uh lowering down then lower down switch other side left leg up stay for a bit remember the shoulders here are super active my head is trying to stay off the mat that's how i know I'm keeping my body active and slowly rolling forward and back a little bit a few times there and lower the leg down staying in dolphin feeling a nice stretch through the entire back body and lower down to child's pose resting the shoulders breathe and going into your downward facing dog inhale coming into your plank exhale going into your chaturanga or ashtanga namaskar or you can drop your whole body down use your options inhale uddhva mukha exhale adho mukha repeating on the left side raise the left leg up 
stay for a bit three like a dog ekka pada adumukha shwanasana keep your hips square here draw your belly in on each exhale exhale left knee towards the left upper arm inhale leg all the way back exhale twist opposite upper arm inhale leg back left knee to the left wrist inhale leg back notice i'm engaging the core opposite wrist inhale leg back knee towards your chest or forehead inhale leg back knee towards your left upper arm this time hold here for a bit the legs the leg is active the core is active the arms are active and step the foot outside of the left palm stay in your active lizard rock forwards and back back leg is as straight as possible check that there's no tension in the knee though move side to side stay for a bit in the center hips forward and down back leg straight arms active and lower the back knee down toes point back only if our arms bend easily here we drop the elbows down with the left elbow beside the left foot there's no compulsion to do this just stay up on your palms if this doesn't feel comfortable keep pulling that left knee in towards the shoulder it doesn't move too much um too away lengthen forward through the sternum keep looking maybe somewhere between your palms coming back to your palms if you drop down to your forearms before and stretch that left foot a little bit forward look for the stretch at the back of the leg so there's no compulsion once again to straighten the leg here this is just a lizard split variation if we want doing how much ever we can and stay and breathe remember accept whatever you can do or can't do it's important to just stick with your breathing here slowly pulling the leg in coming out of the poses very carefully back to your lizard drop down to your forearms if you can for a second swing raising the back knee off and swing the left leg back to forearm plank or if you're on your palms you'll be going into your plank and then dropping down to your forearm plank from the side forearm plank now prepare for from the forearm plank we're going to go into side forearm plank so dropping the heels down to the left side your left palm going towards the right elbow and raise the right arm up all the way fingers pointing up to the sky turn your head and look up if you're stable lift your hips up keep your feet flexed the legs fully working switch sides So you're pressing the bottom forearm down and lifting the torso up, the hips up. Slowly switch again, second round. So if you're already finding this difficult, feel free to just stay there or maybe a tree variation like this where we raise the back foot and place it onto the inner thigh or just split the leg a little higher or hold on to the top toes, top leg toes and lift the leg all the way up. Looking up towards your toes if you're comfortable there and then switch sides so remember any variation option 1 just stay here otherwise split the leg away three variation anywhere along the inner thigh or also you may hold on to the big toes lift the leg up all the way remember to engage the bottom arm the shoulders the hips are lifting up you're looking up if you're stable slowly lower down stay in this variation of the forearm plank for a bit here drawing the belly in shoulders over the elbows heels over the toes or balls of the feet keep your leg super active as well and slowly release down rest in child's pose if you wish or just continue staying in forearm plank if you're not that tired
we just going to try uh the pincha vary pincha mayurasana or forearm stand just for fun if you have it in your practice if not you could just skip or just stay in the dolphin so you raise the right leg up raise the other leg up if we can so um i do acknowledge and accept that my pincha here is not the best i'm a little bit wobbly today but i just accept it to whatever i can and rest again just love my pincha no matter what i did today and slowly up lie down on your back prepare for our setu bandhasana bridge pose bend the legs bring the heels close to the butt if we can it's okay if it's a little away as well we may be able to hold on to our ankles if our back bend is good or okay otherwise it's perfectly okay to keep the feet a little away press into your feet press into your shoulders lift the hips up on your inhale maybe the feet can walk in closer if not just keep the feet where they are but notice my knees are over my heels slowly exhale and round your back down try to articulate the spine inhale slowly up lower back middle back upper back off exhale round down there's no compulsion to hold your ankles inhale rounding up exhale engage your core and then come down slowly again inhale up to your bridge expand your chest here lift your hips as high as possible engage your legs and lift the hips high exhale round down it's very important to engage the legs and let the knees not splay out too wide here keep it over your ankles then stay here for a bit interlace your fingers squeeze your shoulder blades in press your pinky fingers down your left heel walks in towards the center and right leg up for single leg bridge try to lift your hips high engage the bottom foot switch other leg up try to bring the chest close to the chin arching your back as much as possible here slowly lower down the left leg press your heels down round your back and lower down if you need to you can raise your heels up and lower down as well come to constructive rest where the feet stay where they are and touch the knees together palms on your belly if you want then slowly hugging the right knee in left leg straight down stay for a bit long and deep breaths exhale head and shoulders off squeeze your abs so you're activating your abs here as you bring the forehead to the knee it may not touch that's fine raise your left heel off If it's difficult to do this take the leg up higher the left leg goes higher then release your hands off if you can try and lift the head and shoulders high and touch the forehead to the knees lower down switch the side hugging the left knee in towards the chest just relax here move the head side to side if there's any tension in the neck engage your abs head and shoulders off Keep your neck soft don't harden it. Raise your right heel off. Keep it low for an extra challenge. If this is difficult, raise the leg up higher, then release the hands from the leg. Try and bring the forehead close to the knee as much as possible. Release down. Hug your legs. You can move side to side here if you want, massaging the back. Going in for Ananda Balasana, Happy Baby Pose. Hands from the inside. Hold on to the soles of the feet. Keep your heels over your knees. The knees are trying to go towards the side of the torso, all the way down towards the mat. You start feeling a nice stretch along the groin area. Try and keep the hips low. Okay, doesn't raise up too high. 
neck is neutral slowly release raise the legs up it's very important here to press the belly down and press the back down towards the mat we're going to flex the feet and point exhale flex inhale point exhale flex inhale point exhale flex inhale point hold here raise the head and shoulders off and bring the feet a little away maybe around 45 degrees if you can maintain your back down still raise the torso and legs higher if you can if not just stay with the previous option that's fine you should feel your core burning here lower down about 30 degrees torso and legs squeeze your belly in neck soft lower down to 10 degrees if you can and all the way down 10 your legs let's take a supine twist bring your arms out to the sides in line with the shoulder drop the knees to the right side look over to your left side hold on to the knees with the right hand the knees try to come up higher if you want to take a deeper twist so the knees come up higher towards the hand switch sides long inhale think of lengthening your spine long exhale think of drawing your belly in and twisting the spine think of rinsing the spine out the knees drop down right shoulder down slowly back center raise the legs up to our viparita karani again hands out in the side is kind of a medium option hands beside the body is easier arms overhead is a little bit more challenging check that your back is pressing down that's most important lower the legs down slowly slowly for another 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 1 bring the hands beside the body feet a little apart just a little more than hip width apart palms facing up softly close your eyes we're going to stay here for about a minute here if you want to stay more feel free to pause just stay as long as you want relaxing the body part by part starting with your feet your ankles your calves and shin relax your knees thighs hips and glutes relax your abs and chest and your lower spine middle spine upper spine your arms shoulders and neck and entire face it's most important to be present in the current moment now you slowly bring your attention back to your body wiggling your toes wiggling your fingers bring your feet together raising your arms overhead interlacing your fingers stretching the hands back pointing the feet forward turn your head to the right and the left releasing any tension in the neck if any stretch one more time in opposite directions bring the hand beside the body bend your legs turn your entire body over to any side take your time come up to seated hands on your knees long and deep breathing expressing gratitude towards yourself for the yoga practice today thank yourself for showing up on the mat bring your hands to heart center and rub your palms together creating heat and placing it on your eyes repeat once more if you wish feel the warmth seeping in move the palms away slowly open your eyes hands to heart center namaste